Hi, so today I'm going to show you a Rollback RX Server Edition. Now, how this product came about was for the longest time we've had a, a lot of people that enjoyed uh, the technology of sector mapping that we've used in our PC uh, version of Rollback RX. And they wanted a similar technology yet for servers that could deliver them immediate availability of their PCs or servers um, and instantly restore to an earlier point in time without losing any data. So, the main differences between the server version is that it works with open databases such as uh, Oracle, MySQL, Sybase, etc., that are designed for Windows platforms, as well as it supports uh, RAID 0, 1, all the way up to uh, RAID 5. So let's dive right in. I'm going to show you a live example of how we can restore critical files and folders. Now, it's going to be a simple um, illustration, but you'll get a, a sense of how powerful Rollback RX Server Edition is working on a live Windows uh, 2008 server. Here we go. So what we're going to show you here is a demonstration of how we're going to recover some important file. Now we're going to assume that this is an important document which could be a database file or a name on it and I'm going to save that to the desktop and so if you see, you see it's still there. Now we're going to try to simulate a system crash. I'm going to go to the reg registry and now I wouldn't advise anyone to do this um, with their own machine unless they're protected with rollback. Go down to um, the registry key system and then current control set and if you delete that entire directory uh, you're looking forward to some pretty awful times so this is going to pretty well crash your system as you can see it's already not responding and and so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to restart the machine and so it's just for a Windows Server so we're going to demonstrate how we're going to recover as quick as possible without losing any uh, important files or data. So I'm not going to press the home key at this point. I'm going to let it, as you can see, it has been improperly shut down. And so as you can see, we're seeing a typical Windows recovery screen. I'm going to go ahead and press Windows normally. And so as you can see, Windows uh, is unable to boot right now. So what we're going to do is press a hard reset and then we're going to intercept it by pressing the home key on the Rollback RX console. And restore to, let's go before the crash. And as you see, this just takes a few seconds for the server to load up the snapshot and then it'll continue with the restore of the system exactly as it was at that point in time. Now the machine has rolled back to an earlier time, which is perfect. Now the real interesting thing about Rollback RX Server Edition is the ability to recover files. Now remember we created a file here, you know, snapshots. We're going to browse the crash system snapshot by right clicking. We're going to explore it and open it up as a virtual drive. Now what that does is it creates a uh, virtual drive exactly as it was at that point in time. So we're going to go to uh, OS Drive D. E. We're going to go into users and it was under my name it'd be in the desktop there was a test file copy this and place it back paste it back onto the desktop close all the screens and we're actually going to close the virtual drive because we no longer need it so the virtual drive is no longer available in explorer and there you go so what i've done essentially is i've rolled back the computer to an earlier point in time uh, while being able to browse the crash system and retrieve any important data files or databases or important document pages etc that, that are needed. Uh, thank you for watching this video and if you have any questions feel free to come to our website and contact uh, one of our account managers who will provide you with a free uh, license key or download to evaluate uh, Rollback RX server or any of our other products.